Question 5c. For x between 0 and pi and y greater than 0, find the coordinates of the point where the tangent to the curve is horizontal. So what that means is that the derivative, which is given here, y cos x over 4y minus sine x, that must be equal to 0. So when we have a derivative equal to 0 and this rational expression equal to 0, as long as the denominator is not equal to 0, so we have our restriction here, 4y is not equal to sine x, we can say that the numerator equal to 0 will satisfy this equation. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the numerator equal to 0, so I end up with y cosine x equals 0. And because I have the 0 property of multiplication here, because it's equal to 0, I know that I have two independent solutions. One solution is y is equal to 0. And since that does not pass our restriction of our, our range here, we can say that that is, we can eliminate that solution. We also have another solution for this factor cos x. That cos x could be equal to 0. And then we solve for the cos x. So we undo this cos with an arc cos, so we get x is equal to, well, when we solve this, we can think of our unit circle. Cosine is the x position, or the horizontal positioning. It's equal to 0 at those two points. Just highlight that in green. Those are our two points. So pi, x is equal to pi over 2 negative and also positive pi over 2. And so again, taking a look at my our restrictions, our domain restriction in this case, we know that we can eliminate that solution and we have the one solution, x is equal to pi over 2. So we need to find this point. So to find this point, we need to plug this back into the original equation. The original equation was 2y 2y squared minus 6 equals y sine x. And this is the equation that we started with. And if we know our x coordinate, we can find the y coordinate. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to plug in our known value. Our known value for sine is pi over 2. And sine of pi over 2, again, that the y coordinate is sine. So y, the sine of pi over 2 is equal to 1. So my equation then becomes y squared minus 6 is equal to y. I'm going to then solve this as a quadratic, so 2y squared minus y minus 6 is equal to 0. So I need to be able to factor and solve this. So to factor this, I'm going to, you can use all sorts of method. I'm going to use a box method here, where I use the property that the diagonals of this box, so if I have 2y squared minus 6, I know that this diagonal product equals negative 12y squared. And we know that that has to add up to the other diagonal, which gives us the negative y. So two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add to negative 1 are going to be negative 4 and positive 3. And from that, I can factor this. So I have my common factor of 2y here. I have my common factor of plus 3. Here I have my factor of y, and then common factor of minus 2. So factoring this, I end up with 2y plus 3y minus 2. And again, I'm using the zero property of multiplication here to be able to find my y's. So y is equal to negative 3 over 2. And again, that doesn't pass my restriction of y greater than 0, so I need to, I can ignore that solution. And then I get another solution at y equals 2. 
this one does pass the my restriction. So the coordinate that I have where the line is tangent to the curve is horizontal, the point is at pi over 2 and y equals 2. If we look at our graph, and I zoom into my graph here, yeah, that looks about right at. There's a horizontal tangent right there. That's going to be at y equals 2, and that looks about 1.5. So just one, pi over 2 is 1.57, so that looks about the right place. So part D. Part D says, determine whether f has a relative min or a relative max or neither at the point found in part C. So that points at pi over 2 and 2. Now to do this, we need to have do a test of our slopes and test of our critical points. So we do have a critical point at pi over 2. And we know that the slope is equal to 0. We establish that in part C. And what we can do is then test the slopes on either side of that to determine whether that is a relative min or a relative max. So to do that, I'm just going to do a test point. So I'm going to do dy by dx. And we're just going to choose some point. Uh, we can choose a point to the left. The coordinate that we were given to the left was 0 root 3 from part A. So we're going to test 0 root 3. And we're going to plug that into our derivative equation. That was y is root 3. Cosine is 0 over 4 root 3 minus sine 0. Okay, And we work that out previously to be positive 1 over 4. So that we have a positive slope on this side. So we know it's going up. And we just need to test a slope on the right-hand side. And so we need a coordinate to be able to do that. So I tested a point here at 0. <clears throat> I'm going to just choose an endpoint, pi, to test the slope. Because okay, that's an easy coordinate to find. So to find that coordinate, I need to go back to my original equation, which was 2y squared minus 6 equals y sine x. So I'm going to plug in an x value for my domain. So I'm going to let x equal x equals pi. And then I'm going to plug that into my equation. 2y squared minus 6 is equal to y sine x, where x is pi. The sine of 0, sorry, sine of pi is going to be at this point here. So the vertical positioning at pi is going to be 0, so we know sine pi is 0. So we end up with the equation 2y squared minus 6 is equal to 0. Solving for y, we get y equals 3. So y, sorry, y squared is equal to 3, so y is equal to plus minus root 3. And we know that we have a restriction of y is greater than 0, so we'll just say that y, the y we're going to use is going to be at root 3. So then I do another test for my slope, my dy by dx, at, in this case, pi and root 3. So I have root 3 cosine of pi is negative 1. We have 4 root 3 minus sine of pi. So this simplifies to cosine of pi is negative 1, so we get negative root 3 over 4 root 3 minus pi of, sine of pi, which is 0. So we end up with a negative slope. So we have a negative slope on this side, so we know it's going down. And so at this point, based on our justification, which is our slope chart, we can see that is a relative max. So the point pi over 2, 2 is a relative max.